Welcome back. In this video, I will explain the concept of fuzzy C means clustering algorithm with the help of simple solid example. And uh, what is a clustering? What is hard clustering? What is soft clustering? All these concepts are explained in the previous video and link for those videos are given in the description below. And this fuzzy C means clustering algorithm is belongs to soft clustering. To understand fuzzy C means clustering, we will take one problem. In this problem, we need to apply fuzzy C means algorithm and find the new cluster centroids for the uh, given data. This is a given data. In this, we have two features F1 and F2 and five data points X1, X2, X3, X4 and X5. In this case, uh, the number of clusters is 2 and the value of the parameter influencing the membership grade that is M is equal to 2. And we have the initial cluster centers are uh, V1 as 5,5 and V2 as 10,10. 10. In the first iteration of the Fuji C means clustering, we need to find the distance from data point to cluster centers for each data point. So, here we have the data points x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5 and here we have the uh, centers v1 and v2. So, by using this formula, we need to find the distance from data point to the cluster centers. That is dij, i is with respect to data point and j is with respect to uh, centers. So, dij is equal to square root of xi1 minus vj1 bracket square plus xi2 minus vj2 bracket square. So, here we have the given data points. We need to find the distance with respect to two centers with respect to v1 and with respect to v2 by considering all the data points. So, for example, I will take the first data point that is x1. If I take the x1, this one will become v1 and for the center I will take the v1. So, it will become d11 which is equal to square root of x i1. i is 1. So, x11. x11 value is 1. So, 1 it is here minus v j1 v j is 1 v11. v11 is 5. So, this is 5 bracket square plus x i2 i is 1 so x 1 2 x 1 2 is 11 that is what i have written here minus v j 2 that is minus v 1 2 v 1 2 is 5 only so 11 minus 5 bracket square that is what i have written here once you simplify this one you will get d 1 1 as a 7.2111 that is what i have written here so, similarly, we need to find the distance from all the data points to V1 and with uh, all the data points to V2. That is what I have written here. So, once you find the distance, next we need to compute the membership matrix that is Uij. It can be calculated by using this formula that is Uij is equal to summation of Dij divided by Dik rest to 2 divided by m minus 1 where k lies from 1 to c rest to minus 1. Here c is nothing but number of clusters. In the problem definition only we told that number of clusters are 2. So, c will become 2. So, we need to expand this summation 2 times that is for 1 and 2. So, once you expand this one it will look something like this and here we need to put m value that is m is equal to 2. So, once you put this m as 2, so 2 minus 1 that is 1. So, 2 divided by 2 which is equal to 2 only. So, it will expand it 2 times. Then uh, uij is equal to dij divided by di1 bracket square plus dij divided by di2 bracket square raised to minus 1. To calculate uij, first I will take the first data point that is a x1. So, once I take the x1 data point, then u ij will be that is u11 is equal to dij i is 1 j is 1 d11 d11 is uh, 7.211 divided by d i value is 1 it will become d11 that is 7.211 so this will cancel it will become 1 so 1 square is 1 only plus dij that is d11 that is 7.211 divided by d i2 that is d12 d12 value is 9.055 that is what i have written here so once you divide this and once you simplify this one you will get u11 is equal to 0.612 
so u12 is equal to 1 minus u11 so u12 will be 0.388 so that is what i have written here similarly we need to find all the membership matrix values with respect to all the data points and with the uh, centers that is v1 and v2 that is what i have written here so this is how the membership matrix looks like once you find the membership matrix next we need to update the cluster centers the cluster centers can be updated by using this formula that is vj is equal to summation of uij square where i is equal to 1 to n multiplied with xi divided by summation of uijm uh, where i is lies from 1 to n where xi is nothing but f1 and f2 these are the two features f1 and f2 so v1 is equal to u i1 square multiplied with f1 divided by u i1 square comma u i1 square multiplied with f2 divided by u i1 square here we are having the u i1 square because m value is equal to 2 just we replaced m by 2 and x i by f1 and f2 similarly for the v2 also we will replace m by 2 and uh, uh, we split it for f1 and f2 once you find the equation, next we need to find the remaining values that is u i1 square, u i2 square multiplied of u i1 square into f1, u i1 square into f2, u i2 square into f1, u i2 square into f2. So, here we know the value of u i1. So, we can find the u i1 square that is a 0.612 into 0.612 that is equal to 0.374. Similarly, we need to find all the remaining values. And again here we know the ui2 value. So, we can find the ui2 square that is a squaring of this column will we will get the ui2 square. So, that is what I have written here. In this case, uh, you need to find ui1 square into f1. We know the value of ui1 square. We know the value of f1. So, we need to multiply these two columns. So, we will get this column. And for this one, you have u i1 square and uh, we have f2. So, we need to multiply this column with this one. So, we will get this one. That is what you can see here. Again, for these two columns, we have a u i2 square and we have f1. We need to multiply these two columns. We will get this one. And for this one, we need to multiply u i2 square into f2. So, we will get this column. You can see here. Once you find all the values, next we need to find the summation of required values. And once you find the summation of required values, next we need to put those values in the respective formula. For the v1, we have the formula this one in that u i1 square into f1 that is 10.920 divided by u i1 square that is 2.218 comma i1 square into f2 that is 15.677 divide it by u i1 square that is 2.288 so once you divide this one we will get v1 is equal to 4.924 comma 7.069 similarly v2 is equal to 5.403 and 9.766 this is the end of the first iteration in the second iteration of the fuzzy c means clustering again we need to find the distance from data point to the clusters here we have the updated centers that is v1 and v2 with respect to this one we need to find the distance here we have the data points and here we have the new centers that is the updated centers by using this one we need to find the distance so that is what i have written here after finding the distance, next we need to find the membership matrix by using uij that is uij formula. For that one, I will take the example of x1. If I take the x1, it will become u11 with respect to v1. So, which is equal to 1 plus d11 that is d11 is 5.554 divided by d12 that is 4.572. So, once you simplify this one, you will get u11 is equal to 0.404 and u12 is equal to 1 minus u11 which is equal to 0.596. Similarly, we need to find the all the remaining values. After finding the membership matrix, next we need to update the cluster centers by using these formulas that is v1 and v2. So, we know the ui1 so we can find the ui1 square that is squaring of this value. So, we will get ui1 square. Similarly, we need to find the remaining values. 
and we need to find the required sum values so once you find the required sum values we need to put those values in the respective formulas that is v1 which is equal to ui1 square into f1 that is 8.567 divided by u1 square that is 1.518 comma ui1 square into f2 that is 9.934 divided by u1 square is 1.518 once you simplify this one you will get v1 is equal to 5.646 and uh, 6.545 similarly v2 is equal to 4.370 and 10.288 this is the end of the second iteration for the third iteration again we need to calculate the distance from the data point to the cluster and these two centers are the new centers that is the updated centers by using the data points and by using the centers we need to find the distance so we can find like this so after that we need to find the membership matrix that is uij by using following formula so this is the membership matrix once you find the membership matrix next we need to update the cluster centers by using these two formulas so here we need to find the required values that is i1 square i2 square and all these values and we need to find the sum of those values once you find the sum of those values we need to put those values in the respective formula that is v1 is equal to 7.074 comma 5.524 similarly v2 is equal to 3.448 comma 10.696 this is how we can update the cluster centers by using the fuzzy c means clustering algorithm i hope the concept of fuzzy c means clustering algorithm is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.